The first thing you must do is to write a text. This text should contain everything you want to say later in the video. Then you create a script from the text. This script consists of a table with two columns. In the left column, you put the text passages. In the right column, you write down or sketch what you want to see in the video for each text passage. This is called a storyboard. Next, you have to decide how much time or effort you want to put into the video and what production form or video type you want to go with, for example a laying video or screencast. With videos, it's like with many other things. The more time and effort you put into the production, the higher the quality gets. But you can also ask yourself the question how to reduce the effort to get an appropriate result in a certain time. In this context, one must choose whether there is a wish for video editing after filming or not. So the legitimate question here is, how can the effort in post-processing be kept as low as possible? The one-shot or one-take principle is suitable for this. Here you try to create the entire video without cuts in one shot. The recording should be practiced and then recorded several times so that the best recording can be selected at the end. Screencasts and laying videos, for example, are very suitable for the one-take principle. All you need for this is a computer or smartphone. For adequate audio quality, a simple clip-on microphone, a smartphone headset or a USB headset is enough. If you have a little more time for video creation, it's a good idea to record the audio and video separately rather than at the same time. Recording video and audio at the same time saves time and one gets a result faster, but you can also record the video sequences first and then record the text. This allows you to concentrate more intensively on the individual elements. Afterwards, you can edit the audio sequences together with the video sequences using video editing software. This takes a certain amount of effort, but often leads to a more professional overall picture. At the end, it's important to review the finished video before publishing it, to check if there are any mistakes or if things have been forgotten.